Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with Season 8, Episode 17 of Adventure Time. Last we saw, we got wheels, guys, and I didn't realize that at some point, I think it was because the way Season 7 ended, it was like an odd number or something like that, somewhere down the line. So I didn't realize this week I didn't have this episode done. So if you see me in different outfits with different background, it's because I did Episode 16, Wheels, like a month ago, and I just did this one right this second. Today is March 24th, current time. I had caught way up on Adventure Time because I think that was when I watched the eight-part Marceline stakes. Because I was so ahead on that, I kept doing two a week, and I got like a month or two ahead. So I took a break from Adventure Time. Now we're back to date, like current. I'm watching it week to week again. I, however, found out that after the next two episodes, there is another eight-part thing. I didn't read what it's about. I didn't look at what it was about. I just saw, when I was looking at the episodes, part one, part two, and I just saw there were eight parts leading to the finale of season eight. So, I'm going to do this one, and that's it, and then next week I'm going to do my normal two, and then I might do another eight-episode binge. You guys will see it two a week like you usually do, but I'm going to possibly do that because I find it is fresher in my mind if I just do it like that. It worked for Marceline with the stakes. It, I believe that was eight parts, unless it was six. Either way, we have Wheels that we last saw. Wheels was Brown, Browwin. I don't know if they're saying Brownwin or Browwin. I think it's Browin. Either way, it's Kim Kil Wan's daughter, KKW, but he is one of Jake's oddest children in my mind. He's so different in the way, like, he sits in one place and his body's over here. He's got an extremely long body. He looks kind of the most like Jake, though, with a protruding chin and a goatee, but he seems pretty calm, cool, collective. He's not the cool dude. He's like, I'm not cool like my dad, and Browin is kind of the cool kid. She's a cool kid, but she's the most normal, I'd say. She looks like a taller, elongated version of Jake. She's pretty chill. She's got lightning powers or whatever. She, like, beamed up into the sky, had a whirlwind of clouds and lightning, and she's wearing this hat, like a helmet, with a spike on it. I'm assuming that's to attract the lightning. Either way, from the look of this, we're gonna be into some weirdness. High Strangeness is the name. Who is that pink looking dude? I feel like that's PB. Let's just jump in. You guys want to be way ahead, full on edited episodes of all the shows on the channel, seasons ahead of what you're seeing, and hundreds of exclusives you only see on Patreon. Tons, guys. So much exclusive content on Patreon. Check it out. Link at the end. If not, season eight, episode 17. High strangeness. Tree trunks and Mr. Pig. Are we going to see the baby? Look at the picture of Finn behind him. Taping. Uh. Mr. Pig really, truly does love tree trunks. This is true love, guys. It's you. What the frig is going on? Ma. What? Hi, everyone. Is she dreaming? I, I think this is really happening. Mom. Babies. Maybe she's dreaming. Whoa. Mashed potato? This is actually ha mashed potato. Have they been abducting tree trunks and have tree trunk alien babies? Is that what they were just doing? The baby is still there. Just taping up noses. <laughs> okay, bye. I think I was visited by aliens again. again. Uh, every few years, show me my hybrid children. Don't be jealous of my alien consorts, Mr. Pig. She oh, goes every couple sweetie. years Thank and you. bangs a bunch of aliens you and has- come with me to Princess Bubblegum's fireworks show tomorrow? I'm sorry, but she's a fat fish in the sand. All right, I want to see free fireworks, though. All right. Oh my god, she smacked his pig ass. Here's the picture we saw in the beginning. Look at that pun. It's like the Kool-Aid man, but not. Starchy. A ruby slipper camera. Right Who are you, Kool-Aid man? Works. Right, here we go. Oh my god, it's a PB rocket. Oh god, they're beaming her up again. What is happening? My wife? They what? are so creepy and weird. 
Oh god! What is happening? Did they just kill that thing? That thing just died, I think. I think all these things are dying. You blind cream face, lonely. Did she just kill all them by accident? Stop hurting my spaceman with your goo. Keep your probes out of my star children. What is happening? Don't you condescend to me, you false idol. Starchy was under the tree. Like, what? Starchy was under the tree trunk. <sighs> The fireworks show is Candy a is bad for war. babies. Get your goo out of my Is he a chocolate covered banana? Save the galactic chillings. Starchy has to have Meet some Starchy yeah. in that alley. He has over to have there. information because he's constantly snapping photos like he knows. He must be looking for aliens. I am the disembodied voice of the people, and I have witnessed your fire. If given the opportunity, would you lead a small group of resistance fighters? You bet your you wet bet booty. What? Your Behold, wet booty. Behold, it's me, Starchy. <laughs> Starchy's got some. Very yeah, where did Starchy have the time to do this? Starchy has an underground tunnel of. The men's room? I have a meeting at men's room. Hello, everyone. There's really a meeting at men's room. We have room. a new member with us here tonight. Welcome, Welcome train tracks. tracks. Clap, 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 clap. I'm a conduit for an alien entity known as Bushy. Are they all insane? Bushy shows up. Hello. Welcome, Bushy. Is he insane? On my planet, we speak in colors instead of words. Do you all have any guns? Nope. <laughs> I don't have time for campfire stories. Will you help me raise a ruckus? Of course, of course we will. will. Let's do it. I just, I mean, it's her children, so she's a little angry, but out of nowhere, she just has alien babies and she's willing to die and fight for them. You don't tell Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig loves you. What he takes care of you. Look at all the PB rockets. Oh my gracious. That's well. Let's see how well you fly without your thing. Why are there so many of these? Is she actually planning an attack? That's You're a the lot. Devil's hot. What the fudge, tree trunks? Well, this is the people's just. Holy! Oh my God! They're having. What I do? Are they molding with the aliens, She's or only like? Prison is this wicked planet. Oh God. What is Time must place? be going slower. You already know. Stomach exploded with a candy Michelin man. That guy is dead. See? And time is they going... Refuse to find... Oh my god. What? 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 What is happening? See, I told you. I'm really sorry, Tree Trunks. It was supposed to seed new candy kingdoms on uninhabited planets. Oh. In case Oo goes straight up dong bongles, there's a lot of ways that could happen. And when it does, maybe I won't look so crazy after all. I can help you find a space for your goo. You and I will never be friends. But we can respect each other's mothers. Sure. Sure. Oh, hello, darling. I wanted to tell you that I did what you said. We're going to fly Princess Bubblegum's probes back to our abandoned home planet. But our galaxy is so far away, I won't see you again for at least 40 years. Oh, my. Take care of our alien babies. Who the slop is this? This is my alien husband. What an insane episode that was, guys. So Tree Trunks and Mr. Pig come back out of nowhere. I mean, it's weird enough that they are raising the baby that is lich part something. Either way, they just pop in and Tree Trunks forgot to tell us that she got impregnated by an alien man who is her husband. Therefore, she was married. It isn't like she just got pulled into the mothership and was probed and impregnated. No, she married this dude. So she has an alien husband, never tells us, never tells anybody. Mr. Pig doesn't know and freaks out. Why 
I understand people have their issues, but usually they're just forgotten and the next day everything's cool and everyone's back to normal. Tree Trunks truly dislikes PB and at the end there literally says, we will never be friends, but we could be on the same page with some things, aka we're both mothers. Like you got all your candy people, I got my alien babies, so let's agree to agree on this one and we'll give your giant rocket collection. I don't know how many, but there were, it literally looked like a missile factory or something of princess bubblegum rockets. And we were told they were fireworks, but they are filled with little candy people that are supposed to inhabit planets and form candy kingdoms all over the universe. So Instead of firing all these off, that's crazy in itself. That means PB has been doing this for God knows how long, building this ridiculous, uh, I don't know what you'd even call it. It's just a giant assembly of bubblegum princess rocket candy. And that's insane. But I guess, hey, she's trying to preserve her people and that is a plan. And to keep it under wraps and never having said anything about it, that's pretty impressive in itself. But regardless, we now give it to the aliens and the aliens are going to go to their abandoned planet or galaxy, whatever the heck he said. Why did they abandon it? I guess it was in a, uh, uninhabitable by them, but maybe candy people could live there. It's totally different. I'm assuming candy people live differently than whatever these dudes were. But in the end, he talks and Tree Trunks makes him and Mr. Pig shake hands. How awkward that must be for Mr. Pig, even though Mr. Pig is a talking pig to begin with. How awkward is that that he wakes up and sees his wife talking to an alien who is the father or the, the I mean, they have six kids, six alien, like little elephant hybrids that are just like dancing around creepy, never speak. Her kids don't speak. I mean, the whole thing is weird, but this show is weird. I'm going to jump into the next one. You guys want to be way ahead, full on edited episodes, all the shows on the channel, seasons ahead of what you're seeing and hundreds of exclusives you only see on Patreon. Go check the link in front of me for Patreon. If not, comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.